Hello, my name is Montserrat Bimon. Today I'm going to be assembling the Aero Wall Clock with a Pendulum. This puzzle has 320 pieces. I'm going to be showing you the entire process. Hope you enjoy it. First step is to open the bags. We have to unwrap the hanger boards and the assembly instructions. This puzzle has nine hanger boards. They are all numbered. I made a hanger board storage for better organization. Now they are ready to be used. With the puzzle kit, we have a bag to be filled with sand or salt for the weight, toothpicks, lime, wax cord, several sizes of rubber bands, some metal axles, nylon thread, a wax stick, and sandpaper. I like to sand all the puzzle pieces. I use a wax warmer with a small brush to apply the wax to the pieces. When it comes to the toothpicks, I like to apply wax on them. That helps with the assembly. I do this at the beginning so they are ready to be used when instructions call for it. I put the wax stick in the wax warmer. The tools we are going to use are snips, needle, pliers, round thin files, putty knife, and sandpaper. On page 3 of the assembly manual, we see we have a few tools to help with the assembly. They are in the boards 1, 5, and 4. I'm going to take those pieces first. Once you locate the pieces you need on the hanger board, gently push them from the back of the hanger board. After removing all the puzzle pieces needed for this step, I sand them to make sure all the pieces are smooth. Now they are ready to be used. On page 3 we have a list of symbols we are going to see through this assembly manual. It's important to take a moment to go through it before continuing. On each page of the assembly manual, we are going to have a picture on the left of the hunger board we need with the puzzle pieces needed for each step. Let's start the puzzle. We're going to need the puzzle pieces in plank 1. Once you locate the pieces you need on the hunger board, gently push them from the back of the hunger board. Now that I have all the puzzle pieces needed for this step, let's make sure they are smooth. First, we're going to connect pieces 1 and 2. Now we're going to add piece 3. Next is piece 4. If you like these kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now we're going to add piece 5 to the puzzle. We are going to add piece 6 to the puzzle. Next one is piece 7. Make sure it goes into piece 6.
page four is done. Now we're going to page five. We continue the puzzle pieces in board one. Once you locate the puzzle pieces needed for this step, gently push them from the back of the hanger board. Now that we have all the puzzle pieces needed for this step, I'm going to sand them. Make sure to wax pieces 9 and 16. First piece is 8. We have to add it to the puzzle. Now we have to connect pieces 10 and 11 and then add 9 to it. We are going to need both pieces 13. We are going to use 12 to connect them. Now we're going to add those pieces to the puzzle. Make sure it rotates smoothly. Now we're going to add both pieces 14. Now we are going to connect both pieces 15 and we are going to add both pieces 16 to each end. The piece result we're going to add it to the puzzle. Next, we go into page 6. We going to need the puzzle pieces in boards 1 and 2. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hanger board and sand them. For this step, we are going to need the wax cord. At the bottom of page 6, we have a ruler that will help us with the measurements. We need 3800 millimeters of cord. The ruler we have at the bottom of page 6 is 250 millimeters. That means we have to do 250 15 times plus 50 millimeters to get the 3800 millimeters. Now we are going to add both pieces 17 to the puzzle. Next, we're going to add pieces 18 and 19 to the puzzle. When we're done with this step, we're going to call the result piece A1. Now, we're going to add piece 21 to piece 20. 21 will be the center piece. Next, we're going to page 7. We are going to put the wax core through the hole on piece 21 next to piece 20. 
After you put the wax core through piece 21, make sure the length of the wax core is the same in each side. We are going to grab the end of the bottom wax core and this time we are going to put it through the hole in the middle of piece 21. Once we are done placing the wax core, we are going to grab board 2. It has the pieces we need for the next step. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hanger board and sand them. Now we're going to add all of the pieces 22 to piece 20. After all of the pieces are in place, we're going to grab the wax cord that's on the left and we're going to wrap it around the wheel four times. Make sure to put it in the slab closest to piece 20. Next, we're going to page 8. Now, we're going to grab the wax cord on the right and we're going to wrap it around the wheel one time. Make sure to place it on the second slot. After you are done, make sure to bring both sides of the wax cord down and use piece H2 to secure the cord. Now we're done with this step. In this page, we continue the puzzle pieces in board one. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hanger board and sand them. In this step, we're going to add pieces 24 to piece 23. We're done with page 8, now we're going to page 9. We are going to need the puzzle pieces in board 2. Now we are going to add the result piece from page 8 to puzzle piece 25. Now we are going to connect both wheels.
We are going to call this piece A2. Now we're going to page 10. In this page, we are going to need the puzzle pieces in board 3. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. Make sure to apply wax on puzzle piece 27. Now we are going to be connecting pieces A1 and A2. Now we are going to add all the pieces 26 to the puzzle. After all the puzzle pieces 26 are in place, we're going to add puzzle piece 27 to the puzzle. Make sure the inside of the wheel is facing the right way. We're done with page 10, now we're going to page 11. On this page, we need the puzzle pieces in board 3. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. Now we are going to add the puzzle piece 28 to the puzzle. Before pushing it all the way down, make sure the puzzle piece is in place. Next step, we are going to add puzzle piece 29. Make sure you push it all the way down. We are done with page 11, now we are going to page 12. We are going to need the puzzle pieces in hunger board 2. We are going to move out piece H2 a little so we have room to place piece 30 on the puzzle under the wax cord. Make sure the wax cord moves freely. We are done with page 12, now we are going to page 13. We need hunger board 2. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. We are going to add puzzle piece 31 to the puzzle under the wax cord. Make sure the wax cord moves freely. Now we're going to add piece 29 to the puzzle. Make sure you push piece 29 all the way down. We are done with page 13. Now we are going to page 14. We're going to need the hunger board number 4. Now we are going to add piece 32 to the puzzle. Time to remove piece H2 from the wax cord for the next step on page 15. 
We are going to grab the longest wax cord and wrap it around the puzzle clockwise three times. Now we are going to grab the other end of the wax cord and wrap it around the puzzle counterclockwise once. Then we'll use piece H2 again to secure the cords together. We are going to call this piece A. We are done with page 15. On page 16 we are going to need the puzzle pieces on hunger board 2, 4 and 5. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. Make sure to apply wax on puzzle pieces 9, 39, 40, and 41. On this step, we are going to need 200 millimeters of nylon thread. Use the ruler at the bottom of page 16. We are going to put the nylon thread through the holes on piece 33. Now we are going to put the nylon thread through the holes on piece 34 and back to piece 33 to connect both pieces. When we're done, we come to make a knot on the nylon thread to secure it to the pieces. We are going to cut the extra nylon thread close to the knot. The piece result, we come to add it to piece 35. Now we are going to be adding a piece 36. Now we are going to be connecting pieces 37 and 38. On the longest end, we're going to add piece 40, and on the shorter end, we're going to be adding pieces 39 and 9. The piece result we going to put it through piece 35 and at the end we going to add pieces 41 and 9. Now we connect pieces 42 and 43 and we add it to piece 35. We are going to call the piece result B1. Next, page 17. We continue the puzzle pieces on hunger board 4 and 5. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them.
we need to apply wax on pieces 9, 39, 47, 44. We are going to connect pieces 45 and 46 and we are going to add piece 9 at the short end. The piece result we are going to put it through the middle of piece 44 and add piece 47 at the end. We are going to call this piece B2. Now we are going to connect pieces 49 and 48. On the shorter end, we are going to add piece 9, and on the longest end, we are going to add pieces 39 and 47. We are going to call this piece B3. Now we are going to connect B2 to B1. Make sure the gears are connected. Now it's time to connect B3 to B1. Again, make sure the gears are connected. Next, page 18. We come to need the puzzle pieces in hunger boards 2 and 5. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. Make sure to apply wax to pieces 47, 51 and 52. We are going to add piece 50 to the piece result from last page. Make sure everything is in place before pushing it all the way down. Make sure the gears rotate smoothly. Now we are going to add pieces 51, 47 and 52. We are going to call this piece B. Next, page 19. We continue the puzzle pieces and hanger boards 3, 4 and 9. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hanger board and sand them. Make sure to apply wax on pieces 56 and 57. Pieces 54 have one dot, pieces 55 have two dots. We are going to add pieces 54 to 53. Now we are going to add both pieces 55 to 53. As you can see, pieces 54 are a little longer. 
than 55. Now we are going to add piece 56. Next we are going to add piece 57. Make sure the marks on this piece are on the outside. Now we are going to add pieces 58 to the back of piece 57. We are going to add that piece result to the back of piece 59. Push those pieces together as far as they can go. Next page 20. We are going to need the puzzle pieces in hanger board 5. We are going to add the result piece from last page to piece B. We are going to secure them with piece 60. We are going to use tool H3 to push piece 60 all the way down. Next, page 21. We are going to need the puzzle pieces in hunger boards 2, 4 and 8. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. We need to apply wax on pieces 62 and 63. Now we are going to add piece 61 to the puzzle. Next, we are going to add piece 62 to the puzzle. Now we are going to add pieces 64 to piece 63. Make sure we are using the side with the lines. Before adding the last piece 64, we are going to insert 65. As we place the last piece, let's make sure number 50 is to the right of the flat side of the gear. Next, we go into page 22. On this page, we are going to add the result piece from last page to the puzzle. We are going to call this piece C. Next, we go into page 23. We are going to need the puzzle pieces on hanger board 5. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them.
make sure to apply wax on pieces 67, 41, 52, 39. Now we are going to connect pieces 68, 69 and put it through the middle of piece 67. We are going to add pieces 41 and 52. On the back we are going to add both pieces 39 and 52. We are going to call this piece D1. Next is page 24. We're going to get first the puzzle pieces in hanger board 5. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hanger board and sand them. Make sure to apply wax on pieces 70 and 74. We are going to add pieces 71 to piece 70. Next, we're going to add piece 72. Now we're going to add piece 73 and both pieces 74. In this step, we're going to need one metal axle. We're going to put it through the middle of the wheel. Now we are going to add both pieces 75. We are going to call this piece D2. Now we're going to grab the puzzle pieces from hanger board 6. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hanger board and sand them. We are going to put all of the pieces 77 on 76. Now we're going to add piece 72. Next, page 25. We're going to need the puzzle pieces on hanger boards 3 and 6. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hanger board and sand them.
make sure to apply wax on pieces 74. In this step we are going to need one metal axle. We are going to add both pieces 74 to the piece result of last page. Then we're going to put the metal axle through the middle. Now we are going to add piece 75. We are going to call this piece D. We are going to put piece 79 in piece 78. Now we are going to add piece 80. We are going to add pieces 81 and 82. Next, we are going to be adding pieces 83 and 84. We are going to call this piece D4. Now we are going to add pieces 85 to each end of piece 86. We are going to call this piece D5. Next, page 26, we continue the puzzle pieces in hunger board 6. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. We are going to add piece D5 to piece A. Next, we are going to add piece 87 to piece A. Now we are adding this 88 to this A. Next, page 27, we are going to need the puzzle pieces in hunter board 4. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. We are going to add pieces 24 to piece 89. The piece result we are going to add it to piece A. Now we are going to add piece D4 to A. Next, page 28. In this step, we're going to be adding piece D2 to A. Now we are going to add D1 to A. Make sure the gears are in place and connected. Next, page 29. D3 to A. Next, we are going to connect pieces C and A.
take your time making sure everything is in place before pushing it all the way down. Now is a good time to make sure the gears move smoothly. Next, page 30. We need the puzzle pieces in the hunger boards 3 and 4. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. We are going to add piece 90 to the puzzle. If you enjoy watching these kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Next, we're going to add pieces 91 to the puzzle. Now we are going to add piece 92 to the puzzle. Again, let's make sure all the gears run smoothly. We are going to call this piece D. Next, page 31. We need the puzzle pieces in the hunger boards 4 and 8. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. We are going to add piece 94 to piece 93. Now we are going to add piece 95 to 93. Next we are going to add pieces 96 to piece 93. We are going to add piece 96 to piece 97. Now we are going to connect pieces 97 and 93.
the piece was sold we are going to add it to piece D Next, page 32, we continue the puzzle pieces in hanger boards 6 and 8. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hanger board and sand them. We are going to put piece 96 through 98 and connect it to D. Now we are going to put piece 101 through the hole in piece 100. We are going to put piece 99 at the back and we are going to connect it to piece D. We are going to call this piece E. Next, page 33. We continue the puzzle pieces in hanger boards 3, 8, and 9. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hanger board and sand them. Make sure to apply wax on pieces 107 and 108. Now we are going to add pieces 103 to piece 102. Make sure the curved side of pieces 103 is on the outside. Now we're going to add piece 104. Next we are going to add piece 105. Now that this step is done, we're going to repeat the steps to make a second one.
we are going to call these pieces F1. We are going to add pieces 107 to piece 106. Now we are going to add both pieces F1 to piece 106. Now we are going to add pieces 108. The result piece we are going to call it F2. Next, page 34. In this step, we're going to grab three toothpicks and cut them in half. We need the puzzle pieces in hunger boards 8 and 4. We're going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. We are going to put three toothpicks through puzzle piece 109. Now we are going to add piece 110. We are going to add piece 109. We are going to cut out the toothpicks. Make sure to sand it to create a smooth surface. We are going to grab the other piece 109 and add three toothpicks to it. We are going to add piece 110. Now we are going to add piece 109. We are going to cut out the extra toothpick and sand it to create a smooth surface. For the next step, we are going to need two small rubber bands. We are going to place them around each of the result pieces. We are going to call these pieces F3. We are going to add pieces 112 and 111 to F2. We are going to need one half of a toothpick. Now we are going to add one piece F3 to piece F2. We are going to put the toothpick through the middle to connect it. We are going to cut out the extra toothpick and we are going to sand it for a smooth surface. Next, page 35, we're going to need the puzzle pieces in hunger board 4. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. 
We are going to add puzzle pieces 112 and 111 to puzzle piece 113. We are going to add the other piece F3 and use the other half of the toothpick to connect it. We are going to cut out the extra toothpick and sand it for a smooth surface. The result piece we are going to add it to piece F2. Now we are going to add it to piece E. We are going to call this piece F. Next, page 36. In this step, we are going to remove piece H2 from the wax cord and we are going to unwrap it. Next, page 37. Make sure the wax cord is in the right slot. We are going to grab the shorter end of the wax cord and insert it in a hole in puzzle piece G. We are going to make a knot at the end of the wax cord and we are going to pull the cord back out. Next, pages 38 and 39. We are going to set its placement on the wall. Next, pages 41, 42, and 43. This part of the puzzle is going to help us to level it. This is where we're going to place the screws. We have to make sure it's level to assure the mechanisms work correctly. Next, page 44. We need the puzzle pieces in hunger boards 8 and 9. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. We are going to add pieces 115 to piece 114. We are going to add piece 116. We are going to add the other piece 114. We are going to add piece 117. Now we are going to connect piece 119 to 118. We are going to connect the other pieces 119 and 118.
we are going to add those pieces to each side of the puzzle. Now we are going to add piece 120. Next we are going to add piece 121. Now we are going to add piece 122. Next page 45. We continue the puzzle pieces in hanger boards 5 and 8. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hanger board and sand them. Now we are going to add the result piece from page 44 to puzzle G already on the wall. And we are going to add piece 120 to secure it. Now we are going to add pieces 23 and 24 to the end of the longest wax cord. While connecting these two pieces, don't push them all the way down. You're going to need them a little loose to make sure you put the wax core through. Now make sure you push them down. Next page 46. We need the puzzle pieces in hanger board 8. In this step, we going to need a rubber band and the line. We need 1,550 millimeters of line. At the bottom of page 16, we have a ruler with 250 millimeters. We need 250 six times plus 56 millimeters to get the 1,550 millimeters we need. As we fold the line in half, we have to make sure one side is 50 millimeters longer than the other one. We are going to place piece 125 at the middle of the line. We are going to cut the rubber band in half and we are going to use the ruler at the bottom of page 16 to measure 65 millimeters. Now we are going to fold that piece of rubber band in the middle and we are going to place it in the slot in the center of piece 126. Make sure the end of the rubber band is almost flush with the piece 126. Now we are going to put the line through the middle of the rubber band and piece 126. Make sure you insert first the longest side of the line. Next page 47, we need the puzzle pieces in the hanger boards 8 and 9. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hanger board and sand them.
we are going to add piece 127 to the shorter end of the line. Now we are going to add all of the pieces 129 to piece 128. Make sure the curved side on pieces 129 is on the outside. Next page 48, we continue the puzzle pieces in the hunger board 6 and 9. First, we are going to connect the result pieces from page 47. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. We are going to add piece 130. Now we are going to add piece 131. Now we are going to wrap the rubber band around it. Make sure the rubber band is not twisted. Next page 49. We continue the puzzle pieces in the hunger board 8. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. We are going to add pieces 132 to the result piece of page 48. Make sure to apply wax on pieces 133. Now we are going to add both pieces 133. We are going to cut the ends of a toothpick and insert it in the middle of the wheel.
we are going to call the result piece I. Next, page 50. In this step, we are going to add piece I to piece H. Make sure to put the toothpick in the middle of a piece I in the hole in piece H. Now we are going to use the tool provided to put the line in the right place. Next, pages 51 and 52. We are going to use the tool provided to put the line through the puzzle. Make sure the line is not twisted nor tangled. The side of the line without a puzzle piece should go to the right. Now we are going to put the line through the top opening over the wheel and we are going to extend the line to put it over the second wheel. Now we are going to use the tool provided to grab the other line to put it through the opening on the top and over the wheel in the front. Then we are going to extend the line and put it over the second wheel. Next, page 53, we're going to need the puzzle pieces in the hunger boards 6 and 7. We are going to need two toothpicks. We are going to cut the end of the toothpicks. Now we are going to add pieces 135 to 134. We are going to add two pieces 136. Now we are going to add three pieces 137. We are going to add piece 136. We are going to insert both toothpicks in the puzzle piece. We are going to name this piece K. Next page 54, we are going to need the puzzle pieces in hunger board 6. We are going to grab the line without a puzzle piece at the end and we are going to put it through piece 138. To put the line through piece K, I'm using nylon thread with a loop at the end. I use it as a tool. Now we are going to add piece 139. In this step, I'm also going to use the nylon thread with a loop at the end to use it as a tool to put the line through piece page 55. We going to need the puzzle pieces in hunger board 6 and 7. We are going to cut off the extra line. We are going to connect piece 139 and piece K. In this step, we are going to need two halves of a toothpick. Now 
Now we are going to add piece 138. We are going to cut out the extra toothpick. Now we are going to add all the pieces 140. Make sure you insert the line through the slide in the middle of the piece. Now we are going to connect piece 138. Next, page 56, we are going to need the puzzle piece on hanger board 7. Also, a metal axle. We are going to insert the metal axle through a hole in the main puzzle. We are going to add piece 141. Don't push it all the way down. Make sure the toothpick from piece I goes through the middle of piece 41. Next page 57. We are going to need the puzzle pieces in the hunger boards 8 and 9. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. We are going to add two pieces, 143 to piece 142. Now we are going to add piece 144 and both pieces 145. Now we are going to add the rest of the pieces 143.
we are going to add pieces 146 and 147. We are going to call it M1. We are going to add all the pieces 149 to 148. Now we are going to add piece 150. Next piece 151. We are going to call it M2. Next pages 58 and 59. On this step I'm going to use line to put it through piece M1 and M2. I'm going to use a sewing needle as a tool. We are going to put the line through the holes in puzzle piece M1. Then through the holes in puzzle piece M2. We are going to keep doing this until the thread is all through pieces M1 and M2. If you enjoy watching these kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. When we are done, we are going to make an arc to connect both ends of the line. We are going to call this piece M. Next pages 60, 61. We are going to connect M to the main puzzle. We are going to grab the line with the puzzle piece at the end and we are going to insert it into the top of M. We are going to remove piece 141. We are going to pull out piece I from the puzzle. The line on the right we are going to wrap it three times around the wheel. When doing this make sure you keep that line on the right. When we're done, we are going to place it back.
Next page 62, we are going to need the puzzle piece in hunkerboard 7. We are going to put piece 141 back on the puzzle. This time we're going to push it all the way down. Now we are going to add piece 152. Next page 63, we're going to need the puzzle pieces in the hunger board 7. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. We are going to add piece 153 to the main puzzle. Now we are going to add piece 154, now piece 155. Next page 64, we going to need the puzzle pieces in the hunger boards 6 and 7. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. We are going to use pieces 157 to connect pieces 156. Now we are going to connect it to the back of piece 158. We are going to use pieces 12 and 160 to connect pieces 159. Pieces 59 have one end longer than the other one. When you connect them, make sure they match. Next, page 65. We need the puzzle pieces in the hunger board 6. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them. We are going to apply wax on pieces 158 and 161. Now we are going to connect both pieces from page 64. Make sure the shorter end is on the top. Now we are going to connect it to piece 161. We are going to use pieces 162 to do so. We are going to call the result piece O. Next page 66. We are going to need the puzzle pieces in the hunger boards 5 and 7. We are going to remove the puzzle pieces from the back of the hunger board and sand them.
We are going to connect pieces 164 and 163. We are going to do this four times. We are going to call these pieces P1. Make sure the flat side of 164 is at the bottom. Now we are going to add piece 164 to the other side of 163. We are going to do this four times and we are going to call it P2. Make sure the flat side of 164 is at the bottom. We are going to need two rubber bands. Now we are going to add two pieces P1 and two pieces P2 to piece 165. As you add pieces P1 and P2 to piece 165, make sure those pieces match the curve on piece 165. Now we are going to add piece 166 on the back of 165. We are going to add both pieces 167. We are going to wrap one rubber band around that piece. We are going to repeat these steps one more time and we are going to call these pieces P. We are going to add piece 168 to P and we are going to call it Q1. Now we are going to add piece 169 to the other piece P and we are going to call it Q2. Next page 67. Now we are going to add pieces Q2 and Q1 to piece O. Make sure the shorter hook is on the top and the longest at the bottom. Now we are going to use a metal axle to connect it to the main puzzle. Next page 68, we're going to need the puzzle piece in the hunger board 7. We are going to fill the back with sand. We are going to add piece 170 to the main puzzle. And last, we are going to add the wake bar to the puzzle. 